If you ever see this on your Indian hawthorns or photinias, you got big problems. Let's talk about it. This is Entomosporium leaf spot fungus, and it is really bad news for your photinias and hawthorns. It is a fungal disease, and it will eventually be fatal for those plants if left unchecked. So first, let me tell you how to treat your plants for this disease, and then you can decide if it's even worth trying to treat your plants for it. Now, first thing first, anytime we have a fungal disease that is as strong as this one, it's really more about managing the disease rather than curing it. So first what we do is we manage the environment that the plants are in. These spots contain spores that will spread from leaf to leaf and the way that they spread is through water droplets. So when you have a really wet and humid spring like we've had, that's when you will see this fungal disease proliferating across all these different plants. And that's also why you need to be careful when you are watering your plants such as these that they're not getting sprayed with sprinklers because that can continue to spread the disease. It's better to use a drip irrigation system, a soaker hose, or water by hand, making sure to focus on the roots. Next, what you wanna do is clean your plants up. If you have a lot of leaves that are severely infested, you want to prune those off or pick them off. And if you have infested leaves that have fallen to the ground, make sure you rake those up and clean them up so that it doesn't continue to reinfect the plant. After all that is done, you want to start your fungicide treatment. So ideally you want to use at least one type of fungicide, but two different types of fungicide that have different modes of action is going to be better. Make sure you alternate one week with one and the other week with the next one. Now keep in mind, when you start treating your plant, the spots never disappear. Your goal is to keep the new growth and the new leaves from getting infected. And if you have this problem on your plants, most likely you are going to have to repeat this fungicide application every spring to try and keep them clean. And that's every spring from now on. And that's why I said at the beginning, is it worth it for you to treat your plants if you have this disease? If you just have a few plants and they are severely infested, I would just go ahead and tell you to go ahead and pull those out and replace them with something like a holly or a different kind of shrub that's not going to get the antispomorium. However, if you have lots of these plants and they're not severely infested yet, then it might be okay for you to go ahead and purchase the fungicide and go through that treatment to see if you can save them. Ultimately, that decision is up to you and it can be done if you are diligent by following this process.